Chief Election Commissioner Rajiv Kumar briefed press persons today after reviewing the poll preparedness for the upcoming assembly elections in Meghalaya. The Chief Election Commissioner Rajiv Kumar and Election Commissioners Anup, Anup Chandra Pandey and Arun Goel were on a two-day visit to Shillong during which the ECI team held meetings with all political parties and state and district officials. And there are 7,478 PWD voters. We are very, so very happy to report to you that all over the country and so in uh, Meghalaya, we are marking all our voters who are 80 plus. And Meghalaya has in our electoral rules 22,658 electors who are 80 plus. And we are very happy to also tell you 290 amongst them are 100 plus. So our respects to them, they have been always uh, participating in the elections and it's because of them that we are here in this shape of the democracy. We have written from the commission individually to all of them to facilitate them and to pay our respects to them. And friends, we, have, we are focusing in the electoral rolls on inclusion of everybody. And the 18 to 19 years voters are also 81,443. Gender ratio is very happily 1022 in this state here. And EP ratio after this first after this SSR is increased from 630 to 645 in the final rule, which again is a sign of the participation and more and more inclusion. This was during the SSR it happened. Uh, another interesting thing we have started is that. We are trying that after the 17 years, if somebody is completed, we give them an option to give an advance application to us. So we'll keep it with ourselves, and whenever they turn 18, we'll give, make them uh, voters. This is to uh, uh, start inculcating the democratic values and ethos right from the beginning. And you'll be happy to know that 950 youth of 17 plus age have registered with us in advance. So this is again a happy situation that people of the younger age are coming forward. I, since 81,443 are 18 to 19 years, and I would request that when we have taken efforts to enroll them, they also convert this thing from roll to poll. They also should come and vote uh, in, the, uh, in, the, in the elections which are coming. To give you an overview of the polling stations and the preparations which we have made, the number of polling stations in the state is 3,482 with around 620 voters average and predominantly rural uh, settings, 3,157 being in the rural areas. Friends will manage uh, 120 booths with women, all women staff, polling officers, presiding officers, even the, even the police and the police personnel would be women. So this is again a uh, effort which uh, Commission is making all India to make women empowerment a theme. And similarly, this time, as the youth we are registering, we have also started setting the booths which are managed only by youth. Means who have been into the government circuit just recently, we are picking up, and there are 60 booths which will be managed by our young uh, uh, employees. Next, if we come to the facilities which we have which we have directed the district officials to make available, there would be toilets. These are the minimum facilities which would be available at each polling station. Toilets, drinking water, um, electricity, ramps for the PWD friends and the voters. And there would also be a voter facilitation desk which the PWDs or our senior citizens or anybody who wants to take help can take help. I will mention about the digital part of it in the next slide. Uh, next, for an enhanced voter experience, there would be 60 model polling stations also and which would be green uh, initiative of the commission so that we are environment friendly. And as I mentioned, there would be women-centric, uh, all women-managed uh, booths, which are on your right side, there would be 122. Next, 
60 PS, as I mentioned, would look like this. They will welcome you. And the PWDs at some of the identified places will have booths, which will be all managed by persons with disabilities. They are also, this is also our way of, uh, uh, of, of giving them honor and saying that they are fully empowered, they can handle as anybody else can handle. Uh, strict directions have been given that AMF assured minimum facility should be on all booths and no violation of this. Senior citizens, as I mentioned, have an option which commission is giving to, if they do not want for any reason to vote to the polling station, the commission will go to their houses. So there is a provision of form 12D which they can file which will be open after five days of the nomination. The senior citizens can register. Our experience is that many of them want to come to the polling station because they want to also participate in the festival of democracy. But if they decide for some reason, our parties will go home and take their vote. And how would we ensure the secrecy of the vote? The team will go, the political agents of the political parties or candidates would also be allowed to go with them so that nobody can influence the vote of the senior citizens. This will be videographed also and this will be in, in, communicated in advance as to when the parties will go and pick up the votes. So this is a facility which uh, we have extended and many states in recently had elections have utilized this but experience is that many wants to come to the polling station itself. Uh, form 12D would be available to them and also to the persons with disabilities if they want to vote from their home, that also is possible. And as I mentioned, there are 7,400 uh, uh, PWDs. Uh, next slide. There are 7,478 uh, persons with disabilities. They also will have full facility at the booth. And there is a digital platform, there is a PWD app which we call Saksham app. They can download it and in advance book any facilitation they want from us. In, even if they want a volunteer to help them at the polling station, they want a wheelchair, all that can be booked in advance. So this is, um, I would uh, request all the PWD friends, if they want to download this uh, app, they would feel uh, empowered to ask for any facilitation from us. The, uh, the, we also have, uh, there is a band here, very famous band which you all might have heard, Light After Dark, which we called it, which are, which are performing and they are also our kind of ambassadors for uh, awareness amongst the persons with disabilities. We are, if we come to the youth, the, some of the, just to give you a glimpse, of some of the polling stations would look like this. We are making special efforts. There would be a double bridge one. There would be a makeshift uh, bamboo bridge. There would be two in River and polling stations. So these are just samples. We are trying to make the uh, experience of the polling station as friendly, as easy as possible for the voters. To target the urban and youth apathy, which is there in some parts, some people think that why go and vote, which is so in urban areas and also amongst youth. So, Commission and CEO Meghalaya has identified five lowest turnout booths in every constituency. And that comes to 300 booths. So, all district election officers under the guidance of CEO are making all efforts to understand why there was a low voting last time in those 300 votes. So this is a targeted intervention which one is making and also making targeted intervention through the sweep for uh, women, for youth, for PWDs, for senior citizens. So, so I would request through you again to all our young uh, voters to please come and participate in the Democracy Festival. Uh, if we are also committed to conduct free, fair, transparent and inducement free election. For this, while we have directed to everybody and what we have directed I will tell you just now, but before that, 
digit i mean we are using technology to empower the citizens <coughs> so this is there is an app called c vision citizens we vision if you want to make any complaint to the election commission just download this app and you can take a picture upload it if something wrong is happening if cash is distributed you can just take a picture and just upload this this is your complaint if you want to write something you can write and text also you can give us a complaint and wherever wherever you are wherever the complainant is from the, his latitude and longitude will be captured automatically so that we know the location where this is happening and in 100 minutes in 100 minutes our teams would reach within 100 minutes maximum teams would reach check it and come come back to the complainant that this is what is the status yes your complaint was right it has been uh, tackled or it was partially right or it was not right whatever action is taken would just be reported back and i must tell you that in uh, all over the country in the recently held elections over the last uh, two years or so people are making use of and it is giving us lot of advantage in tackling problems defacements cash distribution liquor distribution fights whatever the like wrong time campaigning campaigning outside the uh, fixed timings all this people are vigilant citizens are reporting voters are reporting and we are taking action so i would you i would request to you that the empowered and informed voters of meghalaya who they are also use this as much as they can there are other it applications which uh, can be used there is a voter helpline which you can use to find out the location of your booths and others there is a saksham app which i have already mentioned there is also the suvidha app for the candidates and political parties they can also apply for whatever facilitation they want in terms of grounds or in terms of permissions that also is available to them uh, friends the next important point is uh, about the involvement of the political parties at every stage of the election process and of the media as well the hallmark of the election which we ensure is that every part every action of ours is in a transparent mode and secondly we make disclosures of whatever is happening so the political parties are involved at every stage of updation of electoral rolls there are standing committee meetings weekly and even earlier with the district in in every district in in, in constituencies whenever the flc is done and the commissioning of the machines is done symbols are loaded the political parties remain there mock polls stories of the transports evms booth level agents polling agents what one is trying to tell you is that every stage as i mentioned the when the voting takes place through postal ballot at the homes of the senior citizens of pwds that time also all political parties agents can remain present or and remain present so that entire process is transparent and absolutely for everybody to see now if any candidate has a criminal background the voters need to know this so that they can make informed choices so this particular application know your candidate kyc allows the voters to see the criminal background of any candidate it we have commission is mandated that each candidate if he has a criminal background must publish it in newspapers three times prominently also in each channels that these are the cases against me and then so that the the voter can take a informed choice if he wants to still vote that is the voter's choice we our job is to put it in public domain publicize it as much as possible and then the political parties who have given them tickets must also explain must also give it in newspapers and also give a justification as to why they have selected a person with a criminal background was it so difficult to get a person without the criminal background in the in, in in that particular constituency that also the political parties need to publish and this application voters can know what is the ground what are the charges 
uh, we had detailed meetings with the uh, enforcement agencies, the state police, excise, GST, revenue intelligence, CISF, income tax, enforcement directorate, uh, border security force, airport authorities, Reserve Bank of India, narcotics bureau, railways, why? The purpose behind this was that they all come together and create a uh, situation and a uh, environment which ensures that elections are inducement free. There is no scope for the freebies to be distributed, the cash to move from one place to another or to be distributed, drugs, which is a very, very serious issue, is not transited from here or not consumed here. So, we have given directions to everybody and they will be on their job very strictly. They will have check posts at all the uh, interstate and international borders manned by also the paramilitary forces wherever necessary. They will have CCTV cameras there. The uh, Narcotics Bureau will have uh, look close look at the route which is used for the transit. Air Intelligence Unit will keep a check on all the planes or the choppers coming into the state or going out of the state. This is in addition to the scheduled commercial flights. If any chartered flight is coming or if any helicopter is coming to the state, the mechanisms are being put by these agencies in place that they come to know of it in advance and there are standard protocols to do the checking of those things also. So that there is nothing irregular or illegal which comes into the state to influence the elections or to disturb the level playing field at any stage. The GST and the CBIC would keep a watch on the warehouses so that nothing is stocked there for distribution at the time of elections or before the election. All these directions have been given and uh, we are sure we are committed that it is peaceful, it is transparent and it is inducement free. Friends, with the help of all of you, this is what we wanted to convey. And also, the media has always been Commission's very close ally. Because you are the eyes and ears. It's through you that we hear what is um, uh, happening in the state. And it is only through you that we communicate to the voters. So today, we would like to communicate through you to the voters of Meghalaya that they come in large numbers, vote, youth, young, male, female, PWDs, old alike, and also use our applications to tell us vigilantly if there is anything which is happening against the instructions or against the law.